Uh, another trade deadline acquisition right around there was Curtis Glencross um, off some very good seasons with the Calgary Flames. He's hoping to find a new home in the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he's kind enough to join us now on Brady and Walker. Curtis, thanks for taking the time to do this. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys. Happy to. What's, uh, what appealed to you uh, at the age of 32? Uh, what appealed to you about the about the Leafs offer and an opportunity to be a big part of this club? You know what, I was... When I got the when we started talking about PTOs and Toronto was one of the one of the top teams on our list to go and I just think it's a great opportunity to come in. It's a uh, you know obviously with the new coaching staff and transition going on and you know it's a team that I think I can help and um, you know I have great confidence in the coach staff they have there and you know there's a great team. I don't think it's um, you know I've kind of been checking out on some uh, you know some of the readings and stuff and you know a lot of the guys are saying it's you know they don't want it to you know the whole rebuild name. Um, you know, kind of going out there, and and I don't believe it's a rebuild either. It's uh, a place where, you know, it's a strong hockey market, and, and uh, you know, a great a great city to you know come and and uh, you know try out at. And you know, I'm excited for the opportunity. Curtis Glencross will be at Leafs camp. He joins us now on uh, Brady and Walker Sportsnet 590 The Fan and the Sportsnet 360 Coast to Coast. Guys wait a long time uh, sometimes to get to unrestricted free agency, and 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 it almost always it works out. Was this a tough climate? Was this a tough year for not only guys like you, but hey, we saw it here. Brad Boys will be in on a, on a PTO. Devin Setaguchi will be here on a PTO. It was tough to find jobs for some pretty good players. Yeah, it was. It's you know obviously with the market the way it is right now, it's it's it is tough. And uh, like you said, it's everyone what kind of wants to wait for free agency and and you know hopes to have a good free agency. You wait all your career for um, you know to be a UFA and. And obviously, just this this was a year I've I've never seen in my you know my nine ten years of pro I've never seen a you know a free agency go like this and you know it's unfortunate but at the same time you gotta you know take what what comes and you gotta think of the positives and you know like I said I'm excited to come in there. You spent a lot of time in Calgary and 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 were finally moved at the deadline to Washington, which was not a new experience, but the the first time in a lot of years you would experience that and, and go on a playoff run. Was it? It obviously wasn't everything you hoped for, but do you take away positives from that transition? Yeah, absolutely. It's you know, it was a great learning experience for me. Um, you know, they had a great group of guys there and they had a great organization in Washington. It was I had a you know, I'll never forget my time there and and uh, you know, obviously I would have liked it to go on a little better there, but you know, that's kinda how it goes and part of the game and um, you know, it's with Washington being such a good team last year too and when you do get acquired at the trade deadline, it's one of the things where you know, it's not, there's not much time to get in there and get comfy and, and, uh, you know, figure things out. And, you know, it was good early. And, and then, you know, we had some injuries and things changed and kind of never got back in a groove. And, and, uh, you know, that's, that's how, that's how the game goes. And, you know, I'm hoping to, you know, I, lo- I love the big hockey market and, the, you know, I've obviously playing in Canada and, and in Calgary for so many years, it's, it's something that I thrive on. And I, you know, like I said, it's, it's going to be a great, great time to come there. I'm excited to get in there on Monday. Curtis Glencross, our guest, a two-time 20-goal score, hit 26, as a matter of fact, a few years ago for the Calgary Flames on Brady and Walker, Sportsnet 590 fan. Here's the weird thing, Curtis. you got a lot in common, uh, I, I was thinking last night, with Mike Babcock. Both Saskatchewan born. You played in Cincinnati. You would have just missed him coaching in Cincinnati. You played with Anaheim. You would have just missed him by a couple of years coaching in Anaheim. Have you come across him before? Has there ever been communication? What do you look forward to with, with being in camp with him? Yeah, I've, I've known Babs for quite a few years, and... Um... You know, I'm ex- I'm excited. He's uh, I had a good talk on the phone with him um, a couple of days ago there, and and uh, you know it was a positive talk, and you know I got a good vibe from him. It's uh, something like like you said, he's a Western guy, and and um, you know I like I like the idea that he's a straight shooter, and and you know that's that's what you all you can ask for in a coach, and and you know obviously with his uh, his experience and you know all the franchise and organization that he's he's built in in Detroit, and you now come to Toronto and bringing all of his qualities to Toronto, it's it's you know nothing but positive, and uh, like I said I'm I'm excited to work with them, and and uh, you know I think it's I think it's going to be a good fit. You were part of some pretty good teams in Calgary, and and some teams that kind of disappointed a little bit. Can you draw any comparisons to where the Leafs are as a franchise right now, and 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 other teams that you've seen? You know, I've I've been through it. It's like you said, it's uh, it's one of the things where you know being in Calgary for so many years and going through that you know, the tough years and then, you know, finally getting, getting things going the way we wanted to. It, it was a, it was a culture change. It was a transition stage. And, and, uh, you know, I, I'll never regret my, my time that I had here in Calgary. 
it's a, uh, it's something like a great organization. It's a, it's a great franchise. And, you know, I, I still call Calgary home in the off season. So it's somewhere where I've, uh, you know, met a lot of great friends and great people and got a lot of ties in Calgary now. And it's been, uh, it's been a great experience for me. It's, you know, I've skated today with the guys here in Calgary again, and, and I've had good conversations with, with Craig Conroy and, and, uh, you know, a lot of the PR guys here today. And, and it's, you know, it's something about it. It's, you know, you still have a, still have a soft spot in your heart for, you know, the, the flames and the organization and, and you wish them the best, but, you know, at the same time, I'm ready to, you know, move on and, and, uh, you know, go to a place like Toronto where, you know, it is such a, you know, a hockey community and, and, uh, you know, the Heights can be big coming in with a new coach and, and there's a lot of guys that are trying to prove themselves and, you know, I want to be one of them guys. Well, it's funny. The last time you get moved, you go to Washington, and they're getting uh, they're getting set for national season, going crazy about the baseball there and Bryce Harper. And now you, you come here for for the fall, and it's kind of the same thing. People are going Blue Jays mad as well. So good luck fitting into this market. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's, it's it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm excited. It's uh, you know it was one of, we had a couple teams that we were deciding between, and and um, you know just the opportunity in Toronto. I I think it's a good opportunity and. And I, I, I thrive off, you know, the atmosphere and, and, you know, playing in front of, you know, great fans every night. And, and uh, you know, that's, that's one of the big, big parts of my decision. Well, Walker neglected to mention also the Riders have already been here uh, and played their game here. Also, they're bad. You didn't mention that also. Yeah, they're not, so. having, not having a great year. <laughs> they're going to get the first pick in the draft next year, though. We, I think we, that's important. Yeah. No, it's not. It is. It really is. It's going to help. It will be very helpful to rebuild. Hey, thanks, Kurt. We appreciate it. We'll see you when you get out here. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Take care. Curtis Glencross uh, joining us on Brady and Walker. Um, let's face it, new coach and all that. It's one of the most intriguing camps. And you hear three names, all forwards, all have scored, all can score, and do other things as well. And Glencross said Gucci. And, um, and and it was odd, wasn't it? You you kind of you were getting rumblings earlier before the trade deadline. And we talked about this leading up to, um, to the trade deadline show. Um because Calgary was seemed destined for the playoffs until the Giordano injury. Then a lot of people didn't like their chances as much. Yeah, then then they willed their way in. So yeah. Washington looked like they wanted to buy more than Calgary did. And Curtis Glencross still, uh, what did they do, a second and a third? And that second ended up going in the Dougie Hamilton, right. believe it or not. 